Hi everyone, I have not done an update on, I have to brush my hair. I have not done an update on where we're at with moving and it, I have some exciting progress to announce, so. We got buyers for our house. They love our house. Um, they made an offer. We accepted their offer. Um, if this is like, some people know a lot more about the housing market. I know nothing about it. So I'm just explaining the process. So if you don't wanna hear the process, skip like two minutes ahead. <laughs> if you don't wanna hear all of this. So what happened was we found our house in our dream location and we made an offer on that house. They reject it, oh, they didn't reject it. We made an offer, they counter offered, we made another offer, they rejected that offer. Then we raised our offer quite a bit from where we were at, and then they accepted that offer and came and met us at our offer. Then um, we put our house on the market because um, we found that house and we're, anyway, so our house is on the market. It's been on the house, on the market for 17 days. So it's moved really quickly. And we showed the house to quite a few people, I wanna say, a lot more than I thought were gonna come out here, honestly. Um, and some people didn't want the house because of distance. Some people um, found a different house and like they were like super interested. They were gonna come look a second time, but then they found a house closer to where they wanted to be. It was like location, like we're looking for someone who doesn't mind living pretty far out of city limits. So anyway, now the owners, the new owners that are getting it, they have a horse and um, I, they don't have a YouTube channel or anything, but they have a horse and the horse is in full, I think is what it's called when the horse is gonna have a baby. And so this is the perfect property for them. And I'm very excited for that, this new family coming in. Um, but now what happens next is for the house that we are getting, let me put my hair on a pony. I know it looks a little funny. I need to wash it, but we're working outside today. So the next thing that happened was we had to get the house that we're buying an inspection. So we got that. This is just an armpit stain. I'm not sweaty just yet. I will be though. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. I can't see the top of my hair. It looks really funky. Okay. So then I really need a haircut. I have a lot of, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So I never do any of those like get ready with me videos because I have to get ready and then talk. I can't do, I cannot multitask. It is not my strong, strong point. Originally with my new milking devotional series, I wanted to just speak while I was milking the goat. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So those are gonna always have a voice over. One second, I hear someone trying to murder the others. Okay, everybody's fine. Everybody is fine. Where was I at in my story? Hold up one second. The next thing that happens is we put, um, we have to get the home we're buying inspected. So we did that and there was only a few things like shingles and little things like that. And so we, um, you have 10 days and we did it on like the second day to tell them, hey, we want this or come down on the price or whatever. And so we just said, just fix those little things or whatever. And they did, and so that was great. And then our house wasn't selling, our house wasn't selling, which only 17 days, but like really, it feels like month, when you find the property you want and you want it so bad, like I, I did some unkind things and I had to like say sorry and it wasn't good. I lost my temper. I, I am a little bit of a hothead and I lost my temper with some things that were going on with the house that we were buying and the realtor did some things that I didn't like. I was really feeling like the realtor was trying to sell it out from underneath us. And so I lost my temper and I said some unkind things about the house um, on social media, which was not good. I am very sorry I did that. Anyway. I deleted the comments and 
I think all is well. It was, it was really not one of my shining moments. It was really bad. So then I decided to download a journal app and anytime I have angry moments, I'm not going to blast them anywhere. I'm just going to put them in the journal app. So yeah. <laughs> Because at the same time, we were having some issues as well with um, foster care. Like we were having a lot of meetings with our foster little one. And I was already really stressed and heightened because I just want this little one to be safe. And it's been very frustrating. So anyway, I diverged. Basically, we had the house in the place we're moving to. We had that house... Um, inspected and the inspection went well so we were glad about that then finally like a week later we had buyers i think it was a week or two weeks later we had a really big interest but we kept waiting kept waiting and they didn't put an offer didn't put an offer they wanted to get a different realtor so they could have an unbiased situation and totally understandable um so it was like waiting forever because we kept hearing they really want your house but we kept not getting any offers like we kept getting we're really interested in your house but not an official like offer that we could sign and then finally the offer came in and we're just like like Brian I got the email I got the email and so then we we're like signing it signing it we're like happy with what they offered like we accepted their first offer we were very grateful for it then our house gets inspected and um, there were some things like lights light um, plugs what are those called light switches not the light switches, but the plugs. They weren't up to code, which I thought was really strange because I guess we've lived here 10 years and haven't done anything to like be electrical. So it's like a $10 fix. So that's super easy for us to fix. And then um, just a few other little things with our house. And so then we were waiting and waiting because they have the same 10 day period. And it was like the eighth day. And we're like waiting to see if they think anything needs to be fixed and then then they sent their like i guess it's called a rebuttal they sent that and then so we're fixing those things and um they dropped their offering price a little bit which we accepted because we're like yep we agree like we agree with what the inspector said like yes that is totally fair to drop our price down a little so very excited for everybody involved so now we go and we have to sign both deeds so we'll sign the deed of the one we're buying and we'll sign our deed though this one that we're selling so that's the next step that is going to be happening but we have buyers we are buying and the moving process is going forward so the next thing that happens is our house gets appraised and we already paid for the one where we're moving to get appraised and that should be happening this week sometime and then this house also has to get appraised but like the buyer this is what I think the buyer usually pays for the inspections and for the appraisals because we paid for that inspection and we paid for that appraisal and they're paying for the inspection of this house and they're paying for the appraisal of this house. So like kind of like splits it, I guess. So that worked out really good that we didn't have to pay for like both. So that was really good. So right now I am cleaning up the property today. I have a big list. The kids and I are gonna clean the property, move. So we have two, currently we have two junk piles all of the junk is moving with us. If you watched any of our previous videos, if you wanna go back and watch some of our previous videos, we use our recycled materials in almost every chicken coop build, in every barn, our goat barn, that the goat barn is staying for the new owners to have their horse in it. That is all recycled materials. Um, the metal was from Ryan's parents and the wood was from my parents. And the only thing we bought for that build was like screws. And Ryan also has a welding machine. So we had to buy the stringy stuff. You can correct me in the comments. I won't be offended, but it's like, you know, the stuff that goes in the welder. So that's the only thing that we did. And then we have another small chicken coop, which we're going to move Hannah's chickens out and put them in that small chicken coop so that we can um, kind of lock up all of our chickens. Right now they've been free ranging, but the poop is getting everywhere and I don't want the person who's doing the appraisal to step in chicken poop. The other day I slipped on chicken poop and I hurt my knee so bad. It is still, I'll show you it. Okay, weird angle. It still hurts really bad, but I got a huge bruise 
yeah, it hurt so bad. So anyway, I don't want the appraisal to be stepping in chicken poop. So we're gonna move Hannah's small chickens to that small chicken coop, and then these chickens can use that side of the run and we'll block off the automatic chicken thing. We'll block that one off so they can't get out and be free. They've been free for like four months now. So I think, I hate to lock them up, but they're gonna have to be locked up when we move to our new place anyway. So it'll be good, it'll be fine. So, all right, let's start and get to work. Actually, I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face because obviously I cannot do that while I'm talking to you. <sighs> it's a good day. Caden's upset because he wanted this to be his birthday week and have no chores go on. Everybody's birthday week, you don't get, you don't have to do farm chores or house chores. That's like a little special thing we do. But his birthday is Sunday. So I was like, sorry, your birthday week has to start on Sunday. And he's like, dad told me it could start today. And I was like, I'm sorry. I have, we're not doing our regular chores. We're doing these chores. So get ready for the appraisal so that we can be moving either next week or the week after. It's gonna be so soon. I can't believe it. <laughs> house up for sale in May and we we're probably moving in June like that's record that's record speed so grateful to our realtor shout out to her name is Yvonne Mestis Larson she's awesome um people probably know her both ways because she grew up in the area that I'm in and she has been awesome so all right talk to you soon well you can see us moving everything all right I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just making things awkward Kaden's gonna begin taking this shade down so that it's out of the way for when we move this big coop. I want to try too. You're going to help Kaden? Yeah. And we need to move this um, dresser drawer over. We need to move this cement block, this piece of wood, and this piece of wood. So go ahead and start dragging this big piece of wood first. And line it up with the wood side. These guys are working on this pile and I am going to get started with them. Good job, Hannah. Good job, Kanan. Make them fill up till they overflow, okay? Yeah. Woo! <gasps> I don't feel anything. I'm running out of time. Kaden and I took a minute to cool off. We got a bunch of junk moved over this morning and we have a little more to go. Right now, we're gonna catch Hannah's chickens. You're asking why. I'm gonna move Hannah's chickens over there and we're gonna block all the chickens into the coop because the inspection, I just got the text message, the inspection has been scheduled for Friday. So that means our home is being inspected Friday and I don't want any chicken poop on the ground anywhere for that inspection. Just want it to look nice and clean. So we're gonna trap our chickens. They're going into chicken jail. But in order to do that, I want them to have a small run and a small space. So we're gonna catch, check, check, Chana's chickens. I was gonna say Chana's chickens. We're gonna catch Hannah's chickens. And the little guy in the little coop. Okay guys, it's super gross in here. We have not, don't look. <laughs> Haven't been cleaning as much as we should. Too much going on. I hold this rooster going to pull it Ta-ta! All right, in the box you go. Oh, stay in. I feel like that's it. These chickens are so good. Okay, stay in. Oh, that's good. Maybe a little too snug. Ah, there was another one! Are you still filming? <laughs> yeah. Really? Look at that! Hi. We'll come back for that one. I don't want to step anymore in. I feel like this is animal abuse. Stop, Felicity! Okay. 
comfy now. Come on out. They're like, where's our brother? You want to go grab it? There was just one more. And you don't have to worry about the door because no um, chicken there. all the chickens are going to be going in there. Are you okay? No. Guys, come out and see your new home. It's really cool. You're going to like it, I think. I even made you a little perches and this cool piece of wood. Wow, that one's falling asleep. <laughs> I'm tired. We didn't travel that far. How many is there? One. Hannah just kept throwing eggs in the incubator and kept hatching. I really don't know how many she has. And all the roosters get along fine. They're really docile chickens. These are Sarama chickens. They are so cute and so tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there seven of you guys? Because Caden's bringing over your sister that was hiding. Hello. Come on out. About Their head just stays in one spot. Come here. I can't see you. Very good. Come in. Don't stub your toe. They're so mad. They're like, why did you move us? They liked they liked their little home. Look. His head just stays in the same spot. In the same spot. <laughs> it really does go up and down slowly. I saw this on a YouTube short. <laughs> Aren't you happy that I have a farm and you can test out these things you see on the internet? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. They're not coming out. Let's force them. Yeah. All the roosters are in here. I like that black one. What's that thing on their head? It's called a comb. He has the nicest one. His is pretty good too. Just grab one of them. Oh, she likes her home. She's Come like, on. okay, I could get used to this. This one's a rooster? Yeah. There's your new home. Don't poop on you. <laughs> we could put one up there. You are going to go. And then you. Cool. <laughs> oh, good. It's good to test that thing out. I hope they'll sleep up there at night. Wee! It's a swing. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> it's like extremely distressed. It's doing it on it's purpose, like though. <laughs> They're all just going in there to hide, like, um, I'm not okay with what just happened to me. I got kidnapped. Chicken napped. You guys can come out now! You wanna test out your swing? I think he was jealous of the other person. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at its 
Chicken's face. That's Chicken Joy. Oh, Coming out. They're like, this looks actually fun. Let's go. This one's like, oh, hey. I love that color of that chicken. Uh oh. Oh, there goes their swing. I'll put their swing back up. Oh, it has to be hooked on like that. That was my bad. Okay. This one's really pretty too. Those colors are fun. This guy's right. gonna test this one out. Go ahead. That's why I put it there. That one's just gonna fall off of that. Okay. Apparently my stick. That one's too small. <laughs> oh look, they're loving it. Test they're happy. That's Why does this? They love their little plants so much that they're eating them. Really nice. Hopefully they settle in good. That one had a deformed toe, the orange one. It was weird. We didn't notice. <laughs> okay. So, we got the whole junk pile. There's Levi putting away the wagon. We got the whole junk pile except for the golf cart, riding lawnmower. Um, it's like a red, it's a really big farm equipment tool and um, a four wheeler and the bench. I'm gonna move those things with Ryan in the truck when he gets home with the truck. Everything else we did by hand and we did it with a wheelbarrow. It's looking really good right there. So excited about that. All the bikes are moved. We took everything over here. Sorry about the wind. I hope it's not in the camera too bad. So that on moving day, we'll be able to back into that or just pull into that, really, pull into that gate and load, 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 load. Everything will get loaded. Probably have to make a couple of trips for the farm equipment depending on what kind of trailers or U-Hauls we use. But that is where it is. We moved everything over to this side. I'm not sure how I feel about it because the garage was hiding all of this junk from the road. So now all of this is visible from the road. So I'm not sure if that was a good choice or not, but it's too late now, it's done. And I think, you know, I don't know. I could have moved the junk pile over to there, but this is going to be easier for loading on the day that we move. So I don't know if I should have done it before the appraisal, but at least it's consolidated into one area for the appraisal date. So instead of having trash lying everywhere and junk lying everywhere, it is consolidated. So, all right, I'm going to go inside and talk a little more. Okay, after this evening, I will turn my focus to the inside of the house and clean it. All right, I got sunburned today. It's okay. I'm considering ending this video now, but I'd like to film if Ryan helps me move all that stuff. I'll probably film that. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope you're enjoying our move. I'm super excited to get moved. And um, yeah, so the next part of this video, we'll just have music over it and moving the rest of our farm equipment over to that pile. Hope I made the right choice. Farm equipment, and I saw we have a cat house and, um, like, this little box thing we built that was supposed to be for, what's it called? It's for gardening. One second, one second. I can't remember what it's called for a compost pile. I wanted to call it a food decomposer or something, but I was like, that's not the right thing. So a compost pile. Um, so we'll move that over and Hannah's chickens are happy. So we'll find a way to lock everybody else in. And because that automatic chicken op door opens, we have to block it from the inside. I tried like taping something over the light sensor, but it's still opened. Like the light got through somehow, so it's still new to open up. So the way I blocked them in before was I just put like a piece of wood on the inside and blocked them from going out. So I'm just gonna keep them in the coop for the next three days so that I can clean up any chicken poop off of 
if you have chickens, you know, they don't just stay in a nice little spot in your yard. They go everywhere and they poop everywhere. They poop on your porch, they poop on your cement, on your garage slab. So I'm gonna spray all of that off and then um, they will stay in the coop for the next three days so there's no chicken poop. Just cause I feel like that would make it look less valuable. We want everything to be very clean and shiny for the appraisal. All right, talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great day. Bye. Holy smokes, I'm so dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shower now. <laughs> if you've ever raised animals, you sometimes have to learn how to do things on your own. Today, we are going to learn how to and try for the first time <laughs> disbudding baby goats. The goats I have have their horns. If you've seen any of our previous videos, I come into the shade. It's a pretty hot day today. Um, to talk to you. Um, the goats that we have currently have their horns and they always get stuck in the fence. And so while some people might think this is cruel, um, it's just going to be a lot better for us to deal with goats that do not have horns. So we have made the decision to disbud them. Um, the first ones we're going to be doing these goats, it's recommended to do before they're 10 days old. And the first three we're doing, they are four days old. They were born on, I was just barely doing this math in my head. They were born on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So they're five days old. And the other ones were born on Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So they're seven days old. So yeah. Oh, there's a cool bee right there. Look how pretty it is. Anyway, I'm super excited. Oh, it flew. I'm super excited to learn how to do this and I hope that it goes well. There it is again. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Just budding goats. We found homes for all nine of the kittens. Eight of them got new homes and we kept one kitten. I have bad news about Crystal. She has gone missing. That is not, that is pretty common out here. I was gonna say it's not uncommon for that to happen when you live so rural in the countryside. Um, animals go missing sometimes and unfortunately cats have a tendency to wander. So yeah, we haven't seen Crystal for about four days and I'm starting to get worried and sad, but all right, looks like we're all set up. All right, so this uh, this butter we bought on Amazon, we'll see how it works. It had two different size tips. It has a bigger one and a smaller one. Since these are little goats, we're gonna use this one. And we will give it a shot. Sure you don't want me to hold anything? Mm -hmm. It seems so small. You're supposed to do it at this age. What do you think? Is it too little? I don't know. Should we trim the hair? Is that the smallest setting it goes? Uh huh. Yes or no? Uh, let's try it. It's the worst that happens. Let's put this spot right here. We finished C3. It was kind of graphic. Kind of made my stomach sick, but he seems okay. We're gonna take him to his mom now. Hopefully, everything will be fine.
waiting on Fancy because we can't even feel any little buds. So we're just going to wait a few days and see if she even grows them. I've heard of that happening. I think it's called being pulled. So I don't know if that, it's a genetic trait and I don't know if she has it, but that would be really cool um, because that was so sad. So sad to watch. But their heads won't get stuck in fences. All right. Reunification! <laughs> They're all trying to nurse from her. Can I stop it? They all want to nurse right now. I think you did burp really good. This one's coming over. Nice. This black one's kind of lost. It's like, where do I go? Well, it's done. Hopefully we did okay for our first time. Thanks so much for watching. Back to their barn. Sorry for stealing your babies for a minute. Milking has been going good. We've got a system, even though we don't have a milking stanchion. And we're doing good. Yeah, I know. They smell funny now. Your mom's that way. Your mom's that way. Your mom's this way. things. Oh, that was hard to watch. I'll end on a positive note. The grapevines I put in water a few weeks ago have all gotten roots. These are going to be planted at the new house. Super excited. Here is pumpkin and peaches. They're going to be inside cats now. Emmett's a little bit sad right now. Come, chum. How beautiful you are. Yeah. And peaches is really cool. She has little orange spots all over her. Yeah. But she's like this gray color. Just with some little like freckles of orange. Freckles? Speckles of orange, so... These are our two inside cats now. Right now, I'm going to be filtering the milk. I filtered this milk twice. It was a little bit, ex had a little extra debris in it. So this is gonna be the second time I filter it. So I came up with this idea to put a baby bottle, it's a human baby bottle nipple, inside of this filter. And I just, sorry, I should have set up the tripod. And I just put this, it's an old Dr. Pepper, plastic Dr. Pepper bottle. If you've been following along with our channel for a while, if you've been following along with our channel for a while now, you know that I like to recycle pretty much everything and reuse anything that I think could have a purpose. So I just pour the milk in like this and it gets any kind of dirt or debris. Like I said, this is going to be the second time. See, there was a little 
just got a little, a little extra dirty this time. I don't really know why. But it filters it perfect. It just drips right down. Well, maybe not perfect, but pretty good for just coming up with something on the spot and not buying any extra tools or supplies. Um, being in the middle of the move, we are just pinching every penny. So yeah, we've just been drinking it. We haven't had to have any bottle babies. So that was the main reason we started milking them on day one was to make sure that they were all the kids were getting, all the goat kids were getting enough milk to drink. And this is the most milk we've gotten so far. We've only milked twice today. Felicity is producing way more than Chloe, so I'm making note of that, of that because I want to remember which ones produce the most um, with going forward with who's going to breed and who's going to be making babies for us next year. Obviously, it'll be Felicity, Chloe. It will be Felicity, Chloe, and Fancy for next year for sure, and then we can rotate out as we see how it goes. Hey, pumpkin. Mom? Yeah? I love you. I love you too. Is that fish tank nice and cool? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. This is the first time we've gotten this much from them. Super exciting. Holy smokes, I'm so dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shower now. <laughs> so we're go we are going to take down the trampoline. Yeah. Oh shoot, she was me. <laughs> So we are taking down the trampoline. Why? Because we're going to move next week. Yep. Dad's oh, already no. done. Hey, don't destroy it. I'm stuck. Okay. Don't Apparently he's off. stuck. Oh, found a spring. Okay, let's stop filming. Pause it. Just stop. Looking good. Look at it. Don't pull on those. Did you pull that out? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Just stay stay away from it, please, guys. <laughs> Look at Ferb's fat little belly. He's so healthy. He's just put on so much weight. It's so cute. Felicity is a great mom. So we're ending the night milking the goats. Felicity produces the most milk right now. I'm not sure if that'll change when Chloe's triplets are off of her because her triplets are eating more than the twins probably. Hello. It's <laughs> just whack. Oh, there's Coco Puff. We got to let her back in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's the worst when we're trying to milk. She's like, what's going on, guys? Leave his door. Yeah, they are. I don't know. Yeah, they are. Which ones are you seeing? Underneath the quail hutch. Yeah, that's not eyes. Okay, let's go over there because can't see anything from right here. Okay, good night, Felicity. Be nice to the others. What you mean? Felicity is just a people goat. She doesn't like other goats. She loves people. There's Fancy. Oh, shoot. We woke them all up. They had them all tucked in. Sorry, mamas. <laughs> well, they're all having an evening stroll. <laughs> I saw Ferb. Ferbalicious. <laughs> They're so funny. All right, let's go check on the chickens. Good news. Socks came home tonight. We've been missing socks for, I don't know, like two weeks, and I thought he probably went to oh, cat heaven. It's been like five days. Crystal's been missing a long time. I keep hoping that Crystal will show up. Well, I have to go that direction anyway. Anyway, we thought, oh, socks is gone too. And he came home today, so I'm so happy. Okay, I'm just going to move a few chickens over. That's Hannah's chicken. That's, chicken extra tiny. That's the size that they lay. 
That's Hannah's chicken. No, grab that thing. We'll compare it to the others. This is Hannah's chicken egg. I know, but they're usually bigger than this. No, they're not. I have a whole bowl of those. Really? All right, I'm grabbing a few chickens out of here tonight. Because there's too many in here for them not being able to free range in the morning. Okay. I guess I have to leave that guy. Come on, you're coming. Oh, they're roosting up here. Are they up high? Yeah. Good job, birds. Can you get that on video? That's awesome. Yes. They used my tallest roost. Good job, chickens. What the heck? Somebody doubled? Oh my gosh. Somebody double walked it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Shit. I told her to check on her first. Sorry, I'm taking you guys for a ride. I wonder if she... Ooh. I wonder if she put them all up there. I doubt it. Okay. It sounds like some goats are getting beat up. Sorry, viewers. See? Mm -hmm. You guys are the same size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at She's always going to be right, guys. What is that? What is okay. what? I have to get a few more chickens out of there. All right. Ryan helped me move all of my plants over here. These are all the plants that we are taking from this house to the new house. We have, I guess I can go over them later, but mostly just a strawberry patch, Skylar's garden, some herbs, lemon balm, rhubarb. Honeysuckle. Yes, honeysuckle, marshmallow, a rose bush. That's a pepper. Oh, I overwintered it from last year. Over here is some asparagus. And then over here is some more flowers, blueberry bushes, my delphinium from my grandma, wisteria vine, and trumpet vine. And we took down the trampoline. And this is how it's looking. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Look like a statue. Sure. <laughs>